Concussions are a big worry, both for professional athletes and parents whose children play contact sports. Now imagine how helpful it would be to detect the onset of concussion just moments after injury to make an object objective determination about whether that athlete should return to play. A new blood test may help athletes and coaches detect the onset of concussion just 20 minutes after injury. Quanteric CEO Kevin Rusovsky joins us now. Kevin, thanks so much for being with us. Our pleasure, Tanya. Tell Tell us about this technology. How does it work exactly? Well, it basically has these magical beads that go into the blood, and they are almost like, um, I would call it like Vel uh, Velcro. It can grab onto proteins, and when the brain gets it damaged from a concussion, it releases proteins at very small levels. It crosses the blood-brain barrier, and it goes into blood. And so there's no test today for any brain function in blood. But our technology is so sensitive, it's like rocket science on the blood. We can see those proteins and tell you whether or not you've had a concussion and how severe the concussion is. And probably most important, when is it safe to go back to play? So is this a test you can do on the sidelines? You just draw the blood. How long does it take to get the result? So right now, it's, it's not a sideline test. Mm -hmm. It's a test where you can take the, the, the sample from the sideline, but you have to send it into a, a local um, location that has our technology. Right. But in the next couple of years, we're building it so it's more and more shrunk down so that eventually it'll be more like an iPhone on the side of the field is our vision. Th that is so great because it's so important to have an objective determination on the sidelines. We know all the stories of, you know, teenagers, they want to get back into the game and they might fudge their answers after they've hit their head just to get back to the game. Coaches want the kids back in the game. So to have this kind of objective determination is so important. Very important. Uh, there are six, child, six children that died this year on high school football from mm -hmm. second impact syndrome, not knowing that they had the concussion situation and went back into play. So I actually am most worried about uh, Pop Warner, soccer fields, right. The children are most exposed to this issue, and I think that someday it's going to become a very routine test for brain health. And so where does the research stand at this point? How long will it be till we'll see this test on the side? It actually started with the military. So uh, we have 500,000 veterans from Iraq that had exposed um, to blasts, mm -hmm. and that creates concussions. And so they've done 10 publications now, um, both with hockey players, boxers, as well as the military. So I would say that next year in 2016, you'll be able to see tests come to market from an LDT standpoint to determine whether or not you've had a concussion and how severe it is. Well, as a parent with two boys who play hockey, I can't wait. We have the startling video of what happens to the brain when it is impacted. Look at that. So when you look at that video, you can see how a helmet might protect the skull, but it's not going to protect the motion inside of the skull. Yeah, right? there's this new phenomenon called the slosh effect. Mm -hmm. And 30% of people that get whiplash actually never have their head hit anything, but 30% of them suffer from concussion. So it's a very serious issue that's occurring on a lot of different fronts, whether it be car accidents, whether it be just you know, normal life and, and the trauma that leads downstream from concussions mm -hmm. can actually lead into neurodegenerative issues, which right. the new movie Concussions is really starting to, I think, um, bring a lot of awareness to. Absolutely. We interviewed Dr. Omalu on this show about concussions and Great he man. says he refuses to let his own child play any contact sports till he's 12. So, you know, he says we have the science, you know, but speaking of the science, there are other companies also like Banyan Biomarkers working on the same thing. What's different about the test that you guys are working on? The main thing is the sensitivity. Mm -hmm. We can see things a thousand times more sensitive than anyone else. And so when a concussion is very mild, those biomarkers in the blood don't raise up very high. And so even with heart attacks, we can see heart attacks long before today's blood tests can, which is very important. So the fact that we're so sensitive allows us to see the minor issues. And those minor concussions are actually believed to have some what they call subconcussive events that leads to neurodegenerative issues like CTE. So we think seeing the concussion at, at when it's mild, even before symptoms, is a pretty important uh, achievement. And really across all of medicine, whether it be cancer, whether it be heart attacks, whether it be inflammation, we can see these biomarkers in blood long before there are symptoms. And this is going to be a, a major advance in medicine in the way medicine is dealt with in the future. Kevin, thank you so much. These tests can't get to the fields of play <laughs> fast enough. So so thanks for totally everything agree. you're doing. Our pleasure.